In this video series, we're going to look at how to create an intro cutscene inside of the 2D, uh, Unity's 2D game kit assets. So in order to do that, we need to first understand how everything's organized. Because if I say cutscene, some of you might be thinking animation, animator, controller, and you know, and so forth. We're actually going to use the uh, Unity's new timeline system and their Cinemachine virtual cameras. You'll get some really good smoothing with this and it's actually pretty easy to use. It's just, not, there's not a ton of documentation on it yet. So this is how everything is organized. And I know this is gonna seem a little bit confusing at first, <clears throat> um, but the way this works is, imagine this, your, this is your project files. So this is basically your project window. Um, this will these blue objects will be all the game objects in your scene and i wanted to give you an idea of how everything is being referenced across each other so inside of your project files we're going to make something called a timeline asset this is you know this this you could think about this as a similar asset as a material or a script or a scene file it's just going to exist inside of your project folder so this would be called a timeline asset and inside of your timeline asset it's, we're going to define everything about our cutscene. So we're gonna make a series of tracks and then each track is going to contain information about the object in the scene. So if we were to uh, you know, keyframe animate some values from a object's position, that object's position will be a component and it will get fed down in, into the track. So this is our timeline asset. This is gonna hold all of our object data and this is gonna be the window that we animate from. Or this is going to be referenced inside the window that we're animating from. So um, in addition, in order to play the timeline asset, we need to create an some object in our scene that contains a component called a playable director. A playable director is just a component that takes in a timeline asset and we can tell this playable director component to play, and then it will play whatever asset is specified um, that links back in our project. So pretty much the basic flow of this is we're going to create a timeline asset. We are going to add some tracks and put some, put some information and, and keyframe and all that stuff. And then we're going to play it through a playable director component through some sort of cutscene object, which we'll make, um, we'll reference the playable co director component somehow and tell it to play, and then it will play our uh, our cutscene. So that's the general flow. I just wanted to give you a little primer on that before we start actually making things, so you have a good idea of how everything's connected, and this will make a little bit more sense as we move through it. <clears throat> 